this goose has an identity problem. He thinks he's a sandhill crane. Throughout the summer of 2011, Kachemak Crane Watch has received reports of this unusual goose keeping company with various sized flocks of cranes, sometimes only seven, sometimes 20 or 30. Just before migration in September, he was filmed in this flock of 90. The story of how he came to identify and live with the crane flock is likely a compelling tale, but one that we will probably never know for sure. Maybe he is the ugly goose incarnate, like the ugly duckling in Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale. More likely, his egg somehow ended up in a crane nest. Gary Ivey, the Western Conservation Manager for the International Crane Foundation, told Kachemak Crane Watch that his best guess is that that goose hatched in a crane nest and ended up being raised by cranes. This goose is obviously imprinted on cranes and probably doesn't realize that it is a goose. Canada geese will sometimes lay eggs in crane nests. The egg could be laid in the crane nest just before the crane lays its egg when the nest is still unattended. This goose, who thinks he is a crane, has been identified as a lesser Canada goose, most likely male because of the aggressive behavior displayed in holding his own within the flock. He does not take any sass from the cranes, especially not a brazen colt. Carla Stanley reported that the goose seems to, quote, rule the roost, unquote. It sleeps, rests more than the cranes, but when it wants to eat, it walks over, hisses at whatever crane is at the corn, and the crane jumps and leaves. It flies in formation with the cranes, too. It is clear he is very tuned in to Sandhill Crane body language and calls, as he pays attention when they are on alert. In the evening, he musters for takeoff, like the rest of the cranes as they prepare to depart for the roost. What will be most interesting is whether he will show up on the wintering grounds with the cranes and then return in the spring. Safe journey, Goose, who thinks he is a crane. Hopefully, we will see you again next spring here in Homer, Alaska. <laughs>